Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's Friday the 13th of November, as you can tell it's the date. Frantic Friday, I'm back again after yesterday's mod review. This is today's mod review. Yesterday was 15 plus pieces of equipment today. 20 plus pieces of equipment. Um, one of the mods from today I won't be covering in this review. I will probably do a separate review on it, maybe. It's the modular BGA system. That might not be till tomorrow morning because there's about five, six, seven separate pieces within that system. And I don't think I'm going to have enough time. Um, we have some updates. The updates for today are from left to right, top left, pack Le Campagne by Valentin Lecu and Nico Du 55, the Fent 800 Favorite by Smetti, the Valtra S series by Blauer, the Phoenix IT Runner Edition by ER Shabba VSR Modding Sir, the IBAR 100 by Wagner and Holtz FS. I also think Dalberg, the map Dalberg by Thilp, uh, and one of the Urals, one of the um, Lizard Urals has had an update today as well. Okay, straight on with it. Th this is going to be like, hopefully, speed review because I've got so much to get through. In front of me, we've got the Lizard D838 bale trailer. This is by Austri and Kashdan18. It is 17.28 megabytes to download, 15 slots on console, nicely made, quite a few options with regards to, well, quite a few, there are some options with regards to tyre choice. It's not an auto load trailer, it's manual, it does have straps, as you'd expect with a bale trailer, it kind of comes in rather handy. You'll find this, actually we'll look at this one as well at the same time I think. Um, so that's that one, very nice indeed. Next to it, we've also got the T088 bale trailer. Um, this is from AAA Modding, Banana Joe Modding and U Norby. That way we can look at both the bale trailers together. It, it just makes life a little bit easier. Again, very nice bale trailer, not an auto load one either. This one is straps, but the straps go lengthways. I would say primarily designed for round bales because of the ridge in the middle and the way this will sit with the kind of creels at the end. But you could still put square bales on it because it is flat across the middle, so you could absolutely get away with with square bales. Um, so I say both bale trailers, both strapped down, as you would hope. Uh, you'll find these under. Now this is where I'm going to find they're not under the same place. Baling technology, fingers crossed. So the D eight three eight is nine thousand five hundred. Uh, did I say what the uh, the T088, which we'll have a look at in a second, is 7.58 megabytes and three slots. So this one here, we can change the design colour to anything on that palette, like so, which changes the main bed and the creels. The main colour changes the chassis, like so, underneath. Then we can change the rim colour to anything on that palette, like so. Then we've got the choice of tyres, Lizard 1, Lizard 2, Lizard 3, Trelleborg. When we go back to those, we've got Narrows or Twins and back again. I don't think on the Trelleborgs. No, Trelleborgs is just standard. Then on the deck, we can have Plate or we can have Planks as our options on the D838. The other one is, there we go, the T088 bale trailer. That's 1,800 to buy, requires 50 horsepower to pull. I'm not quite sure what that is a horsepower requirement. Um, and as I said, that one is three slots. Options available, we can change the rim colour to anything on that palette, like so. And the main colour to any one of those three colours, like so. I don't think, that I checked, there, there wasn't an option or anything for this to tip. But weirdly, it seems to have a PTO attachment there. Didn't give me an option. Um, that's going to bug me. Hang on. No, it's not giving me an option anywhere to uh, unload or anything. Just attach toggle straps. I wonder why that's got a PTO. Unless it's... Well, PTO wouldn't run the brakes. Anyway, there you go. That's the those two bale trailers, the D838 by Osri Kashtan18 and the T088 bale trailer by AAA Modding, Banana Joe Modding and U Norby. Next, we have got this. This is the JCB Workmax 800D. This is by White Ball Modding. 
another little utility vehicle. This is 5.23 megabytes of download, four slots on console. It has a 1000 litre bed, which as you can see has got straps on the back. We can open the back down and we can tip the whole thing up. Let's jump in. Horn. Lights. If I can open the back like so. Tip. Like so. This hook up to 32 miles now though. Very small. Put that back down. Inside. Visibility is pretty good. So this you'll find under vehicles, under uh, cars. I think it was cars, not miscellaneous. The Work Max 800D, 15,795. I think I already said it was four slots, didn't I? Options available. We can have Design 1. Or design two with a little ball bar across the front. Those are your options. So we go. That's the JCB Workmax 800D by White Ball Modding. Moving on, we have more Brazilian tractors. Now I don't know which one of these is going to get removed today. Um, we had the New Hollands the other day. These are the Massey Fergusons. Weirdly, both 283s. Hmm. So, this one, if as long as I've got these the right way around, which I think I have, we've got the Massey Ferguson 283 Brazil. This is by Conta Camigo Modding, JA Modding and Hugo Miotto. 16.75 megabytes download, 25 slots. I mean, it's a nicely detailed tractor, nothing wrong with it at all. Um, I think this one, was this one 86 horsepower? We'll have a double check of it in just a second. Actually, we'll do it now. We, we might as well. We'll do it separately. I think these were both under small tractors. We'll do this one first. Yep, that one there. 86 horsepower. We can have it with Michelins or Lizards. The Michelins are new Largo. Large pneumatic tyres, I guess. Those are your two options. And that's it. 86 horsepower. We'll hop in. Horn, light options. Oh, I did want to point out as well, when I did the mod review for the vehicles on the Alpine farming pack, on the Lintner um, 130, I missed the... I said there were no hazard lights, there were no beacons, but there were LED ones, which I missed. Thank you to everyone that commented to say that I'd missed those. I do apologise, there was a lot of stuff to fit in, and I missed it. So, again, apologies for that. In cab, I say in cab within reason, is uh, again nicely detailed, everything doing what it should. Now, this is the thing that's also a 283. This one is the Massey Ferguson 283 year 2002. This is by FBR modding, it's, it's smaller in scaling. I don't know if it's just because it's a different year, but it's a 283 as well. This one is 36.54 megabytes and 43 slots. I mean, the detailing is very good, don't get me wrong. But that seems very high. There aren't a, lot, a huge amount of options on this. this like I say, FBR modding. Um, this is also under small tractors, and it's that one there. Um, so that one, I mean, dirt cheap, don't get me wrong, 13,420 for the base model. This one, 37. Again, not mega expensive. Starts 84 horse, what well says 85 horsepower there, but 84 on the previous. We've got the 283 aspirated or the 283 turbocharged, which gives you 96 horsepower. That's the only change on that. There's no other options. Um, it does seem a little bit crisper and a little bit more detailed, don't get me wrong, than the previous one. Engine sounds are very, very different. Let's turn it off again. Horn. There's a lot that goes into these, I know, and I don't want people going, oh, you're just attacking modders. I'm not attacking modders, I'm just saying. I'm just pointing out that's what the megabyte download is, that's what the uh, 
the slot count is in cab like, and like I say it, this it is a little bit crisper a little bit tidier don't get me wrong when you look to the side on the previous one it was a little bit blurry down here at the sides that kind of thing so there we go make of it what you will just saying that's the Massey Ferguson 283 Year 2002 by FBR Modding, which brings me on to the next of the vehicles for today. This is the Case IH Puma Tier 4B. This is by Blower. 12.11 megabytes, 21 slots to download. Really nicely detailed. We have got a couple of. Have we got a couple of Puma mods? I'm trying to think. We've got. We might have a couple of Pumas already, haven't we? Very nice though. I like it. The Blauer tractors are always very, very good quality. This you'll find under medium tractors. There we go. Puma Tier 4B, 179,000 for the base model. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. So we can have the black, white, Fiat Agri or Communal. Main colour, we can have standard, we can have a metallic red, black, silver, Fiat Agri or communal. Then design colour changes the seats inside, so at the moment I think we're on grey. We can have red and black for the seats inside. I don't think it changes anything else, I don't think it changes anything else. Not that I've noticed anyway. Then we've got our option of tyres. We've got Michelin, Mitas, Trelleborg and Nokian. Nokians are just the communals. Under Michelin we've got standard, wheel weights, wides, wide and weights, rear twins, twins, back to standard. Mitas, standard, weights, wides, wide and weights, rear twins, twins all round, back to standard. Under Trelleborg, standard, weights, wides, wide and weights, narrows, twin narrows which is what I went for rear twins twins all round and back to standard then we've got the option on the front we've got a three point link no PTO then we've got with front PTO then engine setup the 185 at 225 horsepower the 200 at 245 horsepower the 220 at 260 horsepower and the 240 at 270 horsepower then we go back into the 185 then we've got the option of exhaust grids yes or no no at the moment yes puts a a grid just around the outside of the exhaust stack you can just about see that as it changes front loader attacher yes or no sorry I realise I'm rattling through sounds very nice on lights nice bright lighting all the way around beacons does sound great. Nice bit of lean on the body, bit of body roll as you go there. In cab, really nicely detailed. Very cool indeed. I'll stop that there because we'll probably use that in a minute. So we go. That's the Case IH Puma Tier 4B by Blauer. The one I am going to waffle on a little bit about, we've got one! We've got a Land Rover! And before everyone says it's not, it is. It is a Land Rover. Now I'd heard of Santana's before. I thought it was a South African company. This is the AFM Santana 88. A, a, a 88 inch wheelbase, which became the 90, which is what we know as Land Rover 90 now, but it was an 88 originally. So a Series 2 might be a Series 3, but anyway. Um, Santana is a Spanish company. I thought it was South African, but Spanish. And in 1958, started making Land Rovers under license from Rover. And they were from the ground up kits. So Rover would send them all the parts out, they would build them under license, and they were sold as Santanas. Then in about 1968, 1970, they started to build their own version. So kits weren't sent out, and then they were predominantly a Santana. Um, so it is a Land Rover. We've got, we've got a Land Rover in game. I couldn't be happier. On console. I know there's been a few mods out and about um, on PC for a while, but we've actually got one. 
This is 18.75 megabytes, 13 slots. This is by AF Modding, hence AFM Santana. It's lovely. My brother had an old Series 2 we used to go Land Rover trialling in, but we didn't have the top on it. Um, <laughs> I just love it. I absolutely love it. There aren't a huge amount of options on it, but again, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't mind. You saw this already when we were looking at the J JCB, but there you go. The FM Santana 88. 50 grand for the base model. It's not got very high horsepower. 64 horsepower. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. We've got a brown, a kind of, not quite petrol blue. I do like that one. That's the one I went for. Like a safari blue. Then we're into the regular kind of colours, so you can kind of pick what you go for. Uh, then stand, we've got design standard, spare front wheel, spare rear wheel. Then we can have gas can on the back, which only gives you a gas can, nothing on the front, just a gas can. Then you can have spare wheel on the front and gas can. You don't get spare wheel, rear wheel and gas can because the gas can sits where the rear spare wheel goes. Um, and then back to nothing again, should you choose. I'm just grinning like an idiot. I'm so happy. I know it's a silly thing and if you don't like Land Rovers, it's, you're not going to be bothered in the slightest, but... Whoa. One thing I would say, it's got a very generic engine sound to it. Would have preferred a sort of more Land Rovery kind of burble, but... I'm having one of these. This is this is six ashes. This is my new vehicle. It's fit. It'll fit perfectly on every single let's play I do from now on. <laughs> Right-hand drive. Straps on the roof. Whatever you want to put on the roof. Now there's no doors or anything open. Horn. Lights. Just absolutely mint. I'm just going to drive around the rest of the uh, review in this. Oh, it's lovely. Anyway, so we, we now have a Land Rover. How cool is that? I know there'll be the aficionados that go, you know, well, actually, technically, that's a 1971, and therefore it's not actually a Land Rover. It's a Land Rover. I don't care what you're saying. Put my fingers in my ears. Um, so there we go. That's by... Um, AF modding. Love it. Next, we've got this. This is the SIP SIP Disc 300. We had an update to the 2. Point, the 240 one of these the other day. Um, this is by BGamer003. 6.43 megabytes to download. Nine slots. It is a rear mower. What I will do, actually we'll have a look at it in mowing technology. Under tools, under mowers. Right at the very end, the Disc 300S Alp 8500 requires 55 horsepower to run, will run at 13 miles per hour, is 3 metres wide. There are no options available, you get what you get. I know you know how a mower works, but you have to show it. That's all part and parcel. The reason being that when I did my mod review this morning for yesterday's mods, you can do up to 60 minutes on console, just raise it up, fold it, for transport that's how you would have it, but it comes already lots of flat and you can only disconnect it, well normally you can only disconnect it, yeah, when it's unfolded. Yeah, I recorded and got to the full 60 minutes record time, which I was allowed, realised that when I got to the end, in recording for 60 minutes it had cut the first three mods off the start of my mod review, so I had to go in and edit everything out that I didn't need so I could fit all the mods in, and I'm terrified the same thing's going to happen with this. That's why I'm going to miss off the BGA for this one, because it's just too much to fit in. So there we go, three metre cut. Rear mower can be used in conjunction with a front mower or on its own, however you want to operate it. It's entirely up to you. There you go, the SIP. SIP Disc 300 by B Gamer 3 Next up we have got, well it says plough, but it comes under subsoilers. This is the Lizard Homemade Plow. This is by Blue King. 1.48 megabytes to download, one slot. Oh, 
There you go. Uh, like I say, this isn't under ploughs. Well, it, I found it under subsoil, so there you go, right at the very end. 5,000 to buy. 90 horsepower required, 3.2 metres wide, will run at 7 miles per hour. Um, this will give you a cultivated look, but a ploughed state, so depends what you're going for. There you go, and does exactly what it says on the tin. So there we go. That's the Lizard Homemade Plough by Blue King. Uh, next we have got this. This is the Heavy Meadow Rollers. This is by Blend Art, uh, Koljosnik Jr, TT Check Modding and Agro Sketch. Uh, we have got the first one here is a combined roller set and it's seven slots. I'm sure this was the right way around. Seven, seven, seven and twelve one of them was. I'll understand that one better when we have a look in the mod hub. So we've got the Lizard LVH5. So this one here, and you can use it on grass, you can use it on fields, you can use it whenever you like. Uh, this one opens up and you've got the three rollers combined. And this will also give you a fertilising state. So it will roll the ground. Um, if I turn on the rollers, which you have to do, and then we roll, You'll notice it's darker in the strip where we're rolling. That's because it's fertilising as we go. Like so. Let's raise it up and fold it away. So you can have it and that as a kind of all-in-one combined unit. Now, one thing you do need to know, if you're going to hire a worker to use this, to let go in the, in the background doing something, you need to make sure in your settings, uh, in... No, is in that one. So, helper refill fertiliser needs to be off. That has to be off, because if you try and hire a worker with it on, it won't work properly, it can cause problems. So, if you want to hire a worker and use this to fertilise, that helper refill needs to be off. Right, then what we've also got is the separate section one. So we've got a main section, which is this one here, which has got arms that fold down. Now you can have this that fold down or don't, I think, are the options. Um, and then you can attach the separate rollers behind and you can separate them all out. You can add more and more and more on however many you want, I guess. If you added more of these sections in, you can keep spreading them out. Um, or you've got a central pin there, so if you're taking it out to the field, Whereas that one folds up, these you can actually hook the, the rollers one behind each other in a long snake of rollers and take them out and then hook them all up yourself. It will do the same thing and I'll just show you that in a second, but first we need to have a look at them. They're under tools, under miscellaneous. So yeah, according to what I wrote down when I got these, picked these up, it was seven slots, seven slots, and weirdly that one was 12 and I couldn't work out why that one was so many more slots. Options available on this, we can change the main colour to anything on that palette, like so, which does the framework. Design colour changes the inner parts of the rollers and the top sections, uh, the weight sections, like that. Then we can have design standard or warning signs on that one. On the main one that's got all the connections for drawing other ones behind, again we can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Inside of the roller, like so. And then you can have fixed frame or folding arms. So you can actually fold that up either side, those wings fold up um, for transport, however you want to do it, or you can have it fixed in place like so. And then the last one, these are the ones that you would then attach onto the ends. And again, uh, we can change the main colour. I've done it again, I hate when it does that. Hang on. Right, we can change the main colour like so, and the design colour like so standard or with warning signs on the back like that so I back up unfold my wings hook up like so same thing again but these on with this setup I have to turn them on individually turn on roller turn on roller turn on roller and as we go, we will also get a fertilising state as we roll. But then they can all be disconnected and packed up 
for transport or set up in whatever configuration you want to use them in. So we go, that's the uh, Heavy Meadow Rollers by Blendart, Kolchosnik Jr, TT Check Modding and Agro Sketch. Uh, moving on from there, we have got the Metal Tech TS18 TS8 uh, TS18 TS1800 by Matt26. These are in essence the same trailer. We've got the modern version and the older version. Options are the same, capacities are the same. Uh, you can have 18,000 litres or 26,000 litres with the extension. That one I've gone for 18, that one 26 with the extension. But as you can see, it's a much more modern design to it. Um, that one's a sort of older an older design. I mean, that's in essence what it is. It's an older design. Um, options available. These are under trailers. There we go. So the TS18 is the more modern version. Um, that one is 13 slots. The 1800 is 9 slots. I think to do with the, the texturing and the detail involved on one and the other. Both will take everything pretty much. We can change the main colour like so, which does the framework, ladder and all the bits and bobs around. Design colour changes the main body of the vehicle, like so. Capacity, 18,000 or 26,000 litres. And then we can have Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokian, back again, but there's no options for sizes on those, just those. And then in the back on this one, we've got a small window or large window and then attaches standard with nothing or a rear attacher for attaching other trailers on the back that will only attach pin hitch trailers on behind it not ball hitch trailers because it's a pin hitch attachment and then the TS1800 the older version options are exactly the same like so and like so again capacity 18 or 26,000 Trelleborg Michelin knock-ins and back, attaches, standard or trailer hitch, ah, oh, cover, yes or no? Was there not a cover option on the previous one? Or did I miss that? Was that because of the capacity? Yes, there we go. So the larger one has um, a cover on it if you want to cover. There we go. So, the Metal Tech TS18. And 1800. Those are by Matt26. Uh, moving on, we'll do this one while we're here. Uh, this is the trailer by train cotton bales. These are 16.6 .6 megabytes download, 11 slots for the front one, 11 slots for the rear one. These are by Piazzada Do Farm or Do Farm and Z. T modding. They are auto load bale trailers and they are designed to auto load the round bales that come with the John Deere cotton DLC. Each trailer will hold nine. I only got I only put four on the other one just to show you the, the difference between the two. Um, really nicely made, really nicely designed. I know we have got some auto load bales trailers already for cotton bales and stuff, but it's always nice to have more in it. You can get a lot off the field with this too. These you will find under Cotton Technology. Options available on both are the same, if I recall. The front trailer is 55 grand, the rear trailer is 51. We can change the rim colour. And there are, there's a, an array of colours on here. Chrome, silver metallic... Um, yeah, we, oh, there's all sorts. Class Monster Metallic, I went for the bodywork, but Ice, you need to have a look through. There are so many to choose from, honestly, just crazy colours. Their main colour obviously does the main colour. Got the Class Green, I think I went for the Monster, the Class Monster Metallic. I just like the kind of look, almost a satiny thing. I've got a thing for the satin colours at the moment. Auto load trailer, yes or no? You don't have to have it auto load. If you want to go manual, you absolutely can. That's your prerogative. Then wheel set up standard or old wheels, which changes the inside of the hubs. 
think we have some slightly wider twins as well yeah um, and that is the same on both of those trailers options are exactly the same so we will hook up he says so at the moment we're in transport position if I now triangle and operating position does that take the tension straps off so that will now transport as is again we're in that situation with auto load bail trailers those are ethereal bales they're on there but don't technically exist if I want them to have mass and weight I need to unload them onto the trailer so I can unload bales here L1 and triangle unload bales here and they drop they suddenly they're there then I can strap them because if I now do it again transport position and operating position and now do my straps the straps go underneath because it's not registering there as anything actually there so if you want to strap them you have to unload them onto the trailer if you want to unload them off the trailer unload bales and then I can move them now I can't go this side it will only let me go this side I can put them down to the floor I want them up a little bit unload bales here and we are unloaded lovely let's back up a little bit as I can do the same with the rear trailer, just switch tool, uh, do the same thing again, transport position, operating position, straps off, unload bales, drop them down, unload here. Bales are unloaded, but when I want to load them back up in an auto load kind of fashion, press triangle again, then operating position square, on we go, switch to my front one, same thing. Operating position. Uh, that's interesting. Will that do that? Oh, it picks some from the back. Wow, that's gone about it in a really weird way. Probably should have put the rear one into transport position. That's better. And there we go. That's how it works. It's very heavy when they're all on. <laughs> so you are probably going to need a, a fairly meaty rig to pull it. But that's it. That's the auto load uh, trailer by train cotton bale. Auto load trailers by Piazada do Farm and ZT modding. Very nice indeed. Moving swiftly on. Sorry, I know I'm rattling through. We've got this. Again, if you want to annoy your neighbours, have one of these put in your back garden. I'm sure they'll be over the moon with something like that. Um, this is the cow statue. This is by Taylan Agro Mods. 1.26 megabytes download. Uh, one slot. So if you want to set up your own... Oh, I say, actually on the, on the way to the Lake District, on the A66, uh, what's the name of the place? It escapes me, but they've got a cow statue outside the dairy farm actually as you drive along the main road. There's a little petrol station on the left and as you go into the village there's a... Yeah, they've got one. Not this size, but you know. Very nice indeed. You will find this under placeables, under... I think it was decoration. Pretty sure it was decoration. Can't imagine what else it would be under. There we go. The cow statue. 1,000 to buy. One slot to place, 1.26 megabytes to download. Something a bit different. Next, we've got this. This is the Dairy with a Farm Shop. This is by Merck to Gernbauer. 11.12 megabytes, 15 slots. This is a shop at the front. And at the back, you've got a dairy sale point. This will give you 50% more for your milk. Those open and close. I like the addition of this to be able to come in and you've got cheese in here and milk churns. The doors do open around to the outside as well. Or through to the back. Um, the light switches, the, because they're right by the doors, some of the light switches are a little bit, there you go, temperamental, but lights on and off. This was something people mentioned about the new Erlengrat map that it should have had, you should be, should have been able to go into the chocolatier and the caserai, caserai. Um, dairy cheese place. I think that would have been a little bit better, but even like all the stuff in here. 
Oh look, didn't even notice that. Some free tasters on the on the top of the counter there. How cool is that? But there you go. Now I was hoping, and I did test this, um, that when you sold your milk, I was really, really hoping that this would start turning. It doesn't, but it would be it would have been cool if it did, but I think that goes through to the outside, doesn't it? Oh again, I hadn't even checked in here. Cheese wheels. Fantastic. It's a really good mod. Again, it's just a bit of immersion, just to add something else. Another cell point to have. Rather than just a plain building. There it is, that's pretty cool. Uh, this you will also find... Now this one is under placeables and miscellaneous. 55,000 to buy and place. And it does say dairy with 50% bigger prices. Like I say, 15 slots for the first one. Very nice indeed. It's actually very cool. Um, right, we're going to do this one next. This is the Cow Shed. This is by SN Modding. This is 7.47 megabytes download, 19 slots on console. It will hold 444 cows. It's a fair size actually as well. Milk, as you can see, is collected from the outside here. Feed trough along the side here. Our trigger for buying, selling, loading or unloading is around the side just here. Nicely textured, something a bit different as well, you know, it's not, again, it's not a standard thing. Uh, we've got our water trough alongside here and our straw bedding goes in just here. It's very nice this. Silage and manure across this side. I love that, the old water container in the middle as well. There you go, just around the side here. Everything a growing cow needs. Very nice. This is under placeables, under animal pens. It is that one just there. 400,000, as I already said, 444 cows it will hold. Um, next, we have got chickens, lots of. This is the open chicken coop. This is 28 point... Uh, no, it's not. This is... <laughs> no, it's not. Wrong mod. This is 6.34 megabytes to download. This is 10 slots, also by SN Modding, who gave us that one over there, the cow shed. So open... We've got a shed sort of shelter for them to go under if the weather is inclement, so to speak. This will hold 400 chickens, as you've already seen. Well, you might have just seen. I went through it rather quickly. Animal dialogue boxes here. So for buying, selling, load, not loading or unloading. Buying or selling. Feed trigger is just here. Now, as far as I can tell, I have put feed in there. I was hoping an egg box would have appeared by now. But there's a hazard marked area down the side here. So I'm assuming and hoping this is where the egg boxes will appear. It's quite a long section, so I don't know how many it will take. There's nothing else you would need for the chickens. We've got the, the dialogue box there and the feed trough there, so that's got to be it, hasn't it? I just haven't had any appear yet. Nicely made, nicely textured. Very cool. Uh, this you'll find also under animal pens. Open chicken coop, 75,000 to buy, will hold 400. Excellent. As if that wasn't enough, we've got more for the chickens. This is the large UK chicken shed. This is by Green Bale, and it's pretty much like the one off the northern coast map, but it's been changed slightly, because on that map you've got one here and one opposite, and you've got the feed uh, trough things, bins at this end. These have been put so it's all a sort of one-placed mod. Um, the feed area is here, your dialogue box is here, and if it's like the one on the northern coast, the egg boxes will appear along here, somewhere. Um, on this one the gates do open so they have got the building to come in and out of. They can free range a bit outside here and eat the grass and stuff outside. This will hold 500 chickens, 2.59 megabytes to download and only three slots which is amazing. Three slots for all of that. I mean, it's, a, it's a big unit don't get me wrong it's, it's a big takes up a big bit of land um, but very cool. 
There is a story that goes along with large chicken sheds like this, but I haven't got time to tell it, unfortunately. Maybe another day. Um, right, so this also under placeables, under animal pens. The UK large UK chicken shed, 150,000, will hold 500 chickens. That's by Green Bale. Right, which I think brings me on to the last of the mods I'm going to look at today. And it's this pack, and this pack has got me a little bit baffled, if I'm honest. This is the Modern Farmhouse Pack 1 by AF Modding. AF Modding, who also brought us the um, Land Rover, Santana. Uh, this has got seven buildings, according to the Mod Hub website. Um, and it's got the Farmhouse A, Farmhouse B, Farmhouse C which you can find under decoration. It's also got farmhouse A, B and C under sleep trigger. So I've got round the back, I've got farmhouse A, these are modern farmhouses. I mean they're modern houses really, but uh, B and C. And then in front here I've got B, but as the sleep trigger. But then right at the very bottom it says placeable farm shop. I can't find it. it says season's ready. Um, I've looked in placeables under miscellaneous, decoration, farmhouses, sheds and silos, and I can't find the farm shop anywhere. So, I don't know, unless I whizzed past it, but I've been back in and out of the menus repeatedly trying to find it. But anyway, they're nicely detailed. The decorative ones, again, yeah, very nice indeed. These will set you back. Farmhouse A is 15 slots. Farmhouse B is 22 slots. Farmhouse C is 19 slots. That's the same for the sleep trigger ones as well. Farmhouse B has got the um, over garage balcony. None of these houses you can actually go in. You can't get into the doors. The garages don't open. You can't put vehicles in or anything like that. Um, so these ones are quite literally just decorative buildings. Um, but then even the um, the farmhouse with sleep trigger, again, you can't go into them. But, as you saw there, sleep trigger comes up around the back at the back door. If I go around to the front door, there's also a sleep trigger around the front as well. Just there for your sleep trigger. So yeah, the thing that's got me baffled is just the farm shop thing. I, I honestly don't know where that is. Um, so let's say, under farmhouses, we've got farmhouse A, B, C. They're 120 grand a pop. And then if you want them as just decorative rather than a sleep trigger, We've got A, B and C, but for decorative they're only 12 grand each. So my advice, just if you want it, buy one of the decorative ones and put a doormat in front of it. Job done! Save yourself a few quid. <laughs> um, and I think, again, I think that's it. Have I covered everything? It's a lot of mods. I think so. Oh, hang on. What's through the back? Oh, it's the chickens. Yeah, I did that. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. So whilst not all of the mods for today, like I say, there is the uh, the modular BGA system by Castor DSA that's going to need to have, be having a look at. That is the mods for this mod review. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. I'm off to drive a Land Rover. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.